they've been wearing shoes their entire life. They don't even know how to dorsiflex or plantar flex their foot. Uh, and the same happens for the hip and the same happens for the lower back and the same happens for the neck. The moment one joint or one area of your body don't have the range of motion that it should be having, the next joint or the below one will be asked for it. And then there's the problem. There's the, uh, all the pains or modern pains that we have. And the third thing that you were the worst was the uh, crawling. Crawling, yeah, very important. So it happens that we are not kangaroos, we are humans. And the, the way we move, the, it's by, by pedaling. So, so one foot goes first, the other foot goes there. Bop, 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 bop. And that creates a cross chain in our body. It's like a spiral that never ends, a spiral of energy that starts the moment you step on and then goes around your body over to the top and then goes down to bounce to the next foot. So we acquire this important pattern when we crawl. One side of our body goes first, the other follows. One goes first, the other follows. Problem is we should be doing this also when we walk. And you will see very, very little people actually moving their torso. Instead, because lack of movement in their torso, you're going to see a lot of arms swinging instead of rotation in the thoracic spine. And that is not a problem uh, in short term, but mid-term and long term, yeah, it's going to have problems with the neck, with the trap, with the shoulders, creating kyphosis, locking more the hips, because lack of movement just leads to more lack of movement. And it's uh, such a spiral. So yeah, never encourage a child to walk. Just throw them in the ground again and make them crawl as much as you can. <laughs> and that's what we did. Just, just ton, yeah, just tons of ground time. 